second, everybody. It's the coach, and you're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Baltimore Ravens. With that, let's get up to M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. There to call all the action. We welcome in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Inner Harbor and M&T Bank Stadium here in Baltimore, Maryland. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Everyone, I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So here come the Ravens with their first look on offense. And a glance at the tall signal caller, standing footwork but not much room to operate just up past the 25 and no further give him two yards on that play and it's second down and this whole line it is the lifeblood of the offense they established the tone mean nasty physical they can't wait to get after people that allows the rest of the offense to feel confident Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. He finds an opening past the 40. He's still there. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Their mobile, agile quarterback, 73 yards. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. So a big-time scamper there to cap a touchdown on the opening drive. Sets a tone, establishes not what you call a dominance, but a really good feeling for the team that just scored. But I've got to ask you, partner, what do the analytics say about that type of a run? Does it establish anything else for them? <laughs> here coming up extra point right down the middle and it's now a 7-0 game that drive started on their own 25 two plays 75 yards later into the end zone the kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away and they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense. And they're led out by a guy who's done just about everything you could ever imagine to do in this league, the great Tom Brady. It's been a lot of fun watching him develop in his career. But that will to win, he's had that probably since birth. And it transmits itself throughout his entire ball club. Watching him play... It can be an absolute joy unless you're on the other team. Brady now on first down. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Unable to get it to Gronkowski that time. And that'll bring up second down. 
Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field. Rush coming, and he's taken down. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass, followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathed a sigh of relief on that sideline. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Now Brady escaping the pressure right. And he'll have his man. That's Edelman. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. On first down, Brady flushed out right. Slant route caught by Edelman. A very solid gain of 27. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 24. Brady now on first down, eluding the pressure right. And that's caught, it's Edelman again. And he will be brought down at about the six yard line. Another big hitter there, this one good for 18. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going go, to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this has started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. This is caught, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That time, the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. And that's why you do all the drills that you do from the quarterback position, because you're not going to just throw to your strength. The right-handed quarterback, naturally, will want to move to the right side to throw the football. But sometimes, you've got to go left, and that's exactly what happened on that play. As a man, and it's Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. Julian Edelman, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Partner, are they going to cover him? Well, that's four catches in the touchdown grab on that opening drive. Well, what we're seeing so far, I believe, is their understanding that they want to go to him and often but also they know they've got to move him around a little bit, get him into some different spots to continue to find open space to throw him the football. Otherwise, I just run two or three guys at him. They're doing a nice job of finding his way open, scheming him, as they like to say. Well, they got down seven zip. They said, we'll go for two, one up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk reward, right? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, and that's exactly what they did. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And for them, a touchdown, their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that... Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. 
Oh, well, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Throwing right, and that's complete. Slips Pat, and nothing but daylight ahead. And he's going to be taken down deep into Patriot territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 65 yards. Lepard, Lepard. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this, but run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. Their mobile quarterback with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Ravens are in for six. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at the 40. Throwing on first down is Brady. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The former Bill, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. Got a man complete. It's Chris Hogan. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 at a first down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Back-to-back -back games of 17, and they are really on the march now. It's a first down. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. Brady now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. On first and 10, here's Brady. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. That one goes for 24 yards. That was a terrific catch. I mean, to go up there and get it one-handed like that, but I almost want to go into that riff about back in my day, the gloves weren't quite like this. When did gloves really become prevalent, just in general? I think in the 80s. I think as we started to move through the 80s, especially as we got towards the latter part of that. But a lot of those were really like baseball batting gloves to begin with, with not much of a tacky area on the glove. In fact, there was none. I actually remember in cold weather games wearing the old scuba gloves, which you'd wear in the diving, but they would split too easily in the course of a game. Then the glove manufacturers got smart and started adding to it, and here we are today. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Brady, and they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. And that's the kind of stand all defenses are seeking. Third and goal, backs against the wall, and they get a monster sack. And now they're going to force them into a field goal. For them, that's a win. They'll run for it with Gillisley. And this is going to come up well short as they stop him on fourth down. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front 
they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it, a gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Throwing left side, it's complete. 23 yards on the play. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Floating one incomplete. A yeah, good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now they'll run it on the toss. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game. The effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage. I really liked what he did there. Third and long, they'll look to throw. Forced out. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. He's picked off at his own 46. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Man, we see a lot of quarterbacks try and do this. They get out of the pocket, they get in trouble, and they try and force the ball into their star receiver to make a play, sometimes whether he's open or not. And I think this time, it was definitely an or not. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Now Brady throwing on second down. Muscles him off. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And some room. Chris Hogan. And all the way in. Touchdown. England. Chris Hogan, 44 yards. And the Patriots.
Patriots are an extra point away from going out in front. So now Brady and the Patriots going for two. Play fake for Burkhead. Now Brady on the move. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. So that one will be accepted. Automatic first down. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten. They'll look to throw here on first down. Flush to his right. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. A great play there. 60 yards. And the Ravens are able to show off their quick strike ability. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here, he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who's a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Now the try here for the extra point. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. But he doesn't get far. They're able to stop him. And after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. I know it's easy to kind of shrug off a blocked extra point, but this game is shaping up to be a tight one. The second half, this could prove crucial. Yeah, we might look back on this one. We'll have to wait and see. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. Let's go. Let's go. On first down, Brady escaping the pressure right. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Second down, here's Brady. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Brady to Gronkowski for the Patriot first down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Brady, over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. On first and 10, Brady. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final. After review of the play, the winning on the field is reversed. Partner, they're less than two minutes to go in the game, which means that this challenge was initiated by the fellows in New York. And if you're the coach, you're, and they're going to get him. 
He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing his Brady on third down. He's going to float this over the middle. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Throwing here on first down. Rolling to his right. He'll find his man on the comeback route. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So we're at halftime here in the Inner Harbor with the hometown Ravens on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one, maybe not the hard-fought battle many had hoped for. This has been blowout city thus far, but still more football to be played. Who knows what could happen as we send you right back out to Brandon Godden. And just like that, on we head to half number two. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. And he's had some time to chew on that interception he threw on his last drive back in the first half. Well, normally we say, want well, to get him right back out on the field and play again, right? But as you mentioned, had the halftime, had to stew about it a little bit. Maybe he'll have a chance to relax. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Brady to throw on second down. Quickly to Gronkowski, that's caught. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? Hey, down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. New England on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 14. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide-open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Here's Ryan Allen now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. What well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches, what are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, yeah. we've got, we got, the, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. 
An excellent pickup of 34 yards. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Uh, it's hot. Now a play fake here on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Patriots have it. What part did they win empty set there? No backs in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No him. one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit, but not go down and fumble the ball. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Brady. Dancing to his left. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Play action. Now it's Brady. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. Partner, I don't care how long he plays. Anytime there's a fumble involving Tom Brady. You think the Raiders are involved? <laughs> you think the Raiders are involved, you think it's snowing, and immediately you hear the words, Leopard! tuck rule. Leopard! And now the tuck rule doesn't exist anymore, but that always comes back up with Tom Brady, doesn't it? It absolutely does, even here, even now. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it, and it took the ball off course. It's nothing like pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left, contacted him as he's trying to throw the football, and that led to the incompletion. Back to throw now on second and 10. They'll roll him out right. Now he's going to let it go deep right sideline. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It's a gain of seven, and it's fourth and three. Field goal would have been a decent length at 55 yards. They keep the kicking unit on the sideline. They're going for it. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. In for the score. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for and having that type of well, let's face it, audacity. But defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. There's no way something like that's supposed to happen. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage, just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. And now out come the Patriots. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing? Not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here we go! Here we go! 
They go play action here on first down. He's going to air it out deep for Hogan. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now a play fake, Brady. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. I'm sure that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. Here's Brady eluding the pressure right. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield that gets intercepted. Baltimore gets set to take the field. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. Leopard, Leopard. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Flush to his right. And he's got room. Room to run inside the 40. And he is out of bounds just a yard or two shy of the 30. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, look credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. They'll look to throw now on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage. Especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. You just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now a handoff looking right. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. One yard, the official pickup there, so it's going to set up third and nine. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely Leopard. neutralized. Leopard. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And now another turnover as this one's intercepted. Picked off by Dante Hightower. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Now they'll run it on the toss. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner, but where the real intrigue is, 
Can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end, in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Back now in Baltimore. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. New England on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and four. Here we go. Here we go. Brady going to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Now, that's absolutely terrific technique right there by the corner. Exhibit A. Zone coverage. Knew where his man was in relation to the football at all times and made a nice play. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now Brady, he gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shy. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he doesn't quite make it. They do stop him, but he gets it all the way down to the one. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll look to throw. Buying and he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. It's their quarterback punching it in from a yard away. And the Ravens will extend their lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. The extra point splits the uprights, and that will make this a 19-point game. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Brady now on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. Well, sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. And Brady going to be intercepted the third time. Picked off at the 22, and his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. start the drive, eluding the pressure right. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. The 
this quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Here we go, now. Back to throw now on first down. Being chased out left. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. play fake as they set up to throw. It'll buy some time right. And he floats one there incomplete. The veteran Stephon Gilmore able to break that one up. This defense could use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Alert, alert. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Steps away. His throw incomplete. But there was no trace of nervousness there. He was able to diagnose that play from his linebacker position, stay in excellent coverage, and bat the ball away. Now whistles blow, and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. That's going to be their second. They'll be left with one more plus the two-minute warning, and we'll be back. The Ravens on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. All right, now, lucky 56. Watch lucky it now, 56. Barney, Barney. 56 to Mike, boys, 56. Ah! And they'll go on the ground. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. He can run for it, and he will. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. Play action. They'll throw out to his left. Room here to run. Finding room to the 20. And down to the seven-yard line. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Leopard, ah! Back to throw here. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. As his guys are in for six, and the Ravens will add on to their lead. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. Point after, right down the middle. And that will bump the lead up to 26. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes Tom Brady and the Patriot offense back onto the field. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one, but 
Let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Wait, wait. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Gronkowski, the intended target. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Three, nineteen. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. That one looks like he'll throw here. Flush to his right. And some room to roam now. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Call it a gain of 13 yards on the play. And that takes us from second to third down. The Ravens on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and six. They'll set up to throw. Forced out to his left. He may try and run for this. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. indeed the case they'll be out of timeouts for the remainder of this second half the defense they got a little bit of a breather now they're back and set as we resume play the call is to go for one and kick the extra point extra point right down the middle and the lead will swell by one more a drive there of just four plays, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. <laughs> Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because... There are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. To throw, it's Brady. And my goodness, another interception. 
picked off near the 34. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. They'll look to throw here on first down. Dancing to his left. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Give him nine on the play. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. throw here and it's incomplete They're still throwing to the very end but now this game is over but Charles it's one thing to win it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did why were they clicking on offense they can't help but feel great about themselves can they I mean what a game to put up that number of points continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking they think